Good morning, Mike here. I want to talk to you briefly about our flash sale item today, and that is these Peck Blem English metric combination square blades, 300 millimeter or 12 inch. So these are Blems. These are made by Products Engineering Corporation in California, and once in a while they get they make a, a blade that just doesn't meet their accuracy stand or their their high standards, so they mark it as a Blem. And as you can see, they actually grab, they actually make um, blades for a bunch of different manufacturers. So one of the way they market as a blem is they grind out either the part number or the manufacturer. And so these blades, uh, the accuracy is still guaranteed. Uh, it's just there's some kind of blem. And on this one here, if I look really close, I can see maybe the finish is a little bit off on the end here. But some, most of the time, we can't even find the blemish. So um, Peck makes these blades for a bunch of different manufacturers. They make blades and then brand them. Um, in this case here, if we look close, I can see there's Michitoyo ground off there. They also make blades for Brown Sharp. They make blades for Lee Valley. We've seen those names on there. We've also seen Bridge City Tool Works etched on some of our um, some of these blades. So features. Um, this is a thick chunk of steel. It's about a tenth of an inch thick. The edges are ground, straight, and flat. So it can be used as a straight edge. It has the markings, uh, has metric markings, has millimeters here, half millimeters on the back. Then it has 30 seconds here and 64s. So it's very versatile, it's a very versatile ruler. It's hardened, so it's very hard to bend. It is, um, the finish is satin chrome. So it doesn't glare as much as most rulers. And also it won't rust. So here's an example of a brand new Starrett ruler. And I don't know if you can see that. That just glares everywhere. I can hardly read these things when the light reflects off it. So satin chrome is a well, is very welcomed. It also has a groove in here, so this can work with, um, you can also, you can use it as a measuring device, obviously, but it, all, it also works with a bunch of different squares. It fits my modern Starrett here. This, it slides in my modern Starrett. It actually will it'll slide in this antique Starrett blade, or this antique Starrett square head. Works very well. We guarantee it'll work with Michitoyo, with Brown and & Sharp, and obviously with the Peck brand as well. So, um, uses, uh, obviously you can measure with it. One thing I people don't realize is that you can take this ruler since it's so thick and you can actually set it on a piece on its side and you can measure and it gets rid of that parallax. Um, you can also use it as a cutting gauge. If you're cutting something, you can also use it to mark. You can also use it as a straight edge. Although it's not guaranteed to be straight, we don't have uh, standards for that. These things are generally pretty straight within a thousandth of an inch. So if you'd want to uh, have a small project where you want to measure flat, you can use this. Some of the other cool um, accessories you can use on this is, this is an old um, Starrett number 299. This is a uh, like a splice. You can actually fit a square blade in here on one side and then tighten it down. You can actually attach another blade on this side so you can you can get uh, 24 inches or whatever your two blade, the length of your two blades adds up to. You can also get these little keys and make stops on your ruler. They fit on here. These are made by Starrett. They're Starrett number, well, I can't tell what number they are, but these are little uh, little keys that hook onto your ruler and you can have multiple stops on here and you can do repetitive measurements. Um, also, I found this little thing, it's called the vice jaw clamp. And it actually is meant for machinist vices, but it actually clamps right onto that thick ruler with a little Allen wrench. And I can use this as a ruler stop, so that's pretty cool. Um, so these are on sale. For a super deal for one week only um, we haven't ever marked them down this much retail on these is generally about 50 bucks so the price you're going to be paying is way less than that so pick up ones while we have them in stock